What is up, YouTube? This is about here, back in today with you guys, another new Legendary Duelist Immortal Destiny opening for you guys. So this came out for regular Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. Really excited. Right here we can see we've got Yami Bakura with lots of evil heroes in this set as well. And Preda Plant and Gimmick Puppet, a lot of my favorite characters are inside this set. This is really, really cool archetype overall. And yeah, I'm gonna open one booster box right here for you guys today. And there's 36 packs per box with five cards per pack. Um, I don't think a holo is guaranteed in each uh, pack overall, but you know, before I open this up, as you guys probably saw, there's also new uh, sleeves that I bought uh, for Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. So these were released uh, for us here in North America, which is really, really neat. 50 of them, uh, tournament legal, they're also very affordable, they're just a couple of dollars, like less than five, really just four even, three or four bucks, uh, for 50 of these sleeves that are just really, really neat, and they're officially by Konami, uh, their own sleeves, so, you know, really exciting to have them to start releasing these, really, really hope that they uh, start giving out and releasing these uh, for us here in TCG because right here I got a comparison and I've got the OCG version right here to show you guys as well so this is what the OCG one looks like that I got a while ago and it's also really neat OCG has been making lots of sleeves uh, throughout many many years overall uh, with in Konami and Yu-Gi-Oh! So I really hope TCG uh, picks this up and starts doing uh, even monster sleeves down the road because uh, they're very very behind I have to say but you know um, just a quick review there also uh, for that new product to show you guys and yeah let's just give sh straight straight right into this opening right here so let me comment if you guys uh, picked one up these uh, for yourself uh, be sure to comment down below and let me know uh, what sort of cards or what sort of favorite archetypes you guys have you guys have uh, from this set but you know this is probably one of my favorite sets uh, that's been released far to date so I know um, our uh, the Evolve channel is a main uh, speed do mainly speed do channel and we uh, just so you guys know uh, we always do open up regular uh, TCG openings right here anyways uh, because um, they're really nice to collect and you know uh, the other other thing that I think that's relevant is that um, oh we got a holo right here uh, we got the gimmick puppet uh, this doll so and a rare as well that's pretty neat uh, so yeah I actually do want to spend some time to talk about speed duel in this uh, uh, in this video as well just so you guys know um, and I want to explain to you guys why I think it's actually still sort of relevant even though I'm opening regular TCG uh, products on this channel so there's a trend that I realized um, throughout uh, Konami and Duel Links, if you, any of you guys play Duel Links right here, um, is that uh, whenever a new set drops, uh, Duel Links actually re recently have uh, picked up the new sets as well that came out for t uh, regular Yu-Gi-Oh! And, and they released uh, those sets uh, or uh, certain cards within the TCG, uh, from the TCG in the Duel Links game as well that's what i'm trying to say an example would be like uh the structure deck zombie horde uh the one with the red eyes necro zombie dragon which came out like last year in november and uh duelings picked it up like several months ago and it wasn't that far apart so what i'm trying to say is uh will konami do this uh for oh starving venom fusion dragon as a rare that's pretty neat uh would konami actually do this for speed duels so honestly i know with um <clears throat> to be critical, uh, Speed Duels hasn't really gotten any like new new cards uh, lately at all. Um, I mean, it's aimed to be nostalgic and uh, the old days Yu-Gi-Oh type of feeling as well. Oh, oh, we got Evil Hero, a Dusted Gold. That's one of the cards I really wanted to pull, and he looks so cool, man. Really, really good Evil Hero support right here. Just so happy that they released that because Evil Hero is one of my favorite archetypes uh, from this set. Um, so yeah and just wondering if they actually would do that so as in like um what i meant is like maybe for example cards in this set uh some of them are just way too overpowered to be in speed duels uh currently or in duel links oh we got the dark spirit of banishment that's really cool new uh bakura card right here and um from what would they would they probably be a good idea to actually pick a card or two from this set to re be released in speed duels or uh, they actually do in duel links to actually give it some extra support and um, 
uh, interesting flair to the game, which I think they, they're doing really well in Duel Links because if they shortly, in Duel Links, if they shortly release a uh, new card uh, that came out for the TCG uh, not long after, it's actually really good marketing and promoting to get uh, capture uh, people's interest and player base uh, that are interested in both games, which is really, really neat, I personally think. So, wondering if that they will do that in Speed Duels or not. Since uh, Duel Links, Speed Duels is really much like a real life version of Duel Links, and uh, I personally feel like it will be a really good idea of sometime down the road, uh, not long after, if they release um, cards that, for example, came out for this set uh, to be in speed duels. Uh, once again, I know because uh, I, I know it's not going to happen likely right now since uh, speed duels is sort of uh, very um, old style Yu-Gi-Oh back and, you know, all these cards have way too many effects which makes them way too overpowered uh, overall. But hopefully down the road they can pick that up as well which would be really, really neat. So that's why I wanted to discuss this. Uh, so let's go back into the opening and focus more and see what we can pull right here so far. We got, uh, so a rare is guaranteed in every single pack, uh, as uh, you guys can see so far. Uh, also comment down below what card is really good in this set. Uh, what sort of cards you guys have been picking up uh, so far, if you guys opened one for yourself. Predator Prime, dude, that's a really neat card. I like that artwork. So yeah, I personally really want to look for the evil heroes uh, archetypes um, in here. That's one of my favorite uh, archetypes. Uh, as well as Bakura's new uh, support cards, which is really, really neat. Earthbound God I'm okay with, and Predator Plant I like actually a lot as well. Really, really uh, interesting <coughs> archetype. Ooh, evil Mind. That, that's, a, that's definitely a decent card to have for uh, if you plan to play evil heroes. Oh, we got Dark Spirit of Malice. Really neat. Yeah, so our goal is to get at least one of every card. Uh, I don't think it's actually physically possible uh, just by opening one box. So if you guys actually like this box as much as I do as well, uh, comment button down below and let me know if I, uh, you guys think I should open up another box uh, of these as well. Because I um, don't think we can actually get every single card, but hopefully we can, you know. A lot of commons. Uh, the rares are pretty neat as well, actually. You know, especially having Starving Venom and Earthbound Gods Immortal. Uh, Kapak, Apu, Dark Calling, that's a good card uh, for Evil Hero. Oh, we got Dark Spirit's Mastery, that's a really good card, that's an Ultra Rare too. Really nice. I like this card, this card's effect's gonna be pretty decent I think down the road as well. Yeah, uh, even for generic uh, theme type decks. Any decks that run theme types. So it might be, it might be even good for Dark World possibly. Oh no, actually no. Sorry, uh, oh, sorry, I, I got mixed up with the other card. Oh, this one's actually for the Destiny board deck. So, yeah, I, I thought there was there was this other spell card that's really good in, in this set as well that focuses on, like, just generic fiends. Supreme King's Castle, that's really neat. Uh, good for uh, Supreme King, uh, the evil hero. Card of Plant, that's cool. We've got a new Card of Plant card as well, and uh, Card of Plant fusion type card in this set, which is really, really powerful. It's like a Trishula version, so that's really cool. So now we're moving on to the left side. Uh, five hollows so far, so not too bad. Uh, with two ultra rares, uh, hopefully we can get more hollows. I really want more hollows. Oh, and speaking of hollows, we got another one. We got the Earthbound Greater Line Walker. Wow, really neat. Another ultra rare, so I'm really happy with that. Although I'm not that interested with the Earthbound as much. Uh, I really want the Evil Hero ones and uh, the Bakura ones more, and the Predator Plant uh, Hollow more, Hollow, yeah. Lots of Starving Venom uh, dragons, so that's good. That's always a good reprint, honestly, it's especially with it being uh, pretty much played a lot in a competitive play, I think, so. Ooh, we got a fusion. Yes, and we got the Predator Plant uh, tri Trifo over rhythm can't really, sorry if I butchered the name, but that's a really, really cool card, and that's what I was talking about. It looks just like a Trishula version, because it's got three heads and it's dragon, 3,000, 3,000, and you require three um, uh, fusion materials to bring him out as well, so I'm really happy that we got that card right here, so really, really cool. So going through more packs, 
uh, on the left side, um, halfway through the box already. Let's see. Oh, no hollow for this one, so that's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm just gonna skim through them quickly because most of the common cards we kind of know, and uh, for the most part, you know, we've seen before as well. Some nostalgic cards as, as well, we got. Uh, but yeah, I'm not too interested in the commons, honestly, I have to say. I'm more interested in the hollow cards because th these are uh, those are the, those are the new cards uh, that came out. Honestly, uh, Evil Hero Malicious Fiend is a good reprint, but I had it. I have it as an ultra rare or uh, as a hollow of some sort, so you know, prefer that one as well more. Really like the box art of this one as well, with uh, all the. I guess Necrofear supports. Yeah, we haven't got the Necrofear yet. We got another uh, Dark Spirit of Banishment, so that's pretty cool. Take another one of those. So right now we have uh, eight hollows. Wonder how many hollows you can get in one uh, booster box. Also, comment down below on how many boxes you guys bought. Oh, we got another Dark Spirit's Mastery. So we got two of pull, two of these uh, pulls. Uh, from one single box, so we're starting to see some of the repeated uh, hollows before we actually seen the other uh, hollows yet. Part of class. Also, if you guys know of anything a short print in this set, I'm very curious. I uh, really, really want to get Evil here with Bane, but as we're filling down these packs, uh, we're getting more anxious and nervous uh, about that whether we're gonna get it or not. So, yeah. Gimmick puppet, not really my thing though. Kind of scary, I think. Uh, a bit too much. <clears throat> don't like puppets that much. They don't look that cool for me. Oh, we got another predator plant. Uh, not gonna pronounce his name. Try. Let's just call him Try. Predator plant. Try. That's really cool. Really happy. I can think. I think uh, this card probably bec uh, can potentially become. Uh, quite competitive and for competitive uh, Yu-Gi-Oh play as well, uh, which can be very very decent, especially when your opponent plays a lot of Dark type monsters. You can just uh, super poly them. Oh, we got a Suppe Dusk Walker. So that's like an Earthbound uh, type of card. I didn't even know this this was this card was a, was a thing in this set. Uh, looking too forward for too much on the Dark Nectar Spheres and all that, so wasn't interested in the Earthbound and Sapaze as much. Evil Hero, uh, Infernal Bridge. We got a couple of these already, but you know, honorable mention for a classic card that Evil Jaden used back in the uh, GX series. So we're only down to a couple packs left, so let's see if we can still get some more Ultra Rares. We got four so far, I think. Yeah, we've got four. Seems really tough, this set. Like no, like good sets uh, don't come by uh, easily with pools. Honestly, I feel like a lot of the good cards are all ultra rares and super rares, so it makes it very difficult, I have to say, to pull what you want. Dark Sanctuary, uh, Okura Field Spell that he used back in Battle City when he was dueling against Yugi, which is really interesting. Oh, we got Earthbound Geoglyph. Don't, not sure if this is a new card or reprint, but I feel like it's a new card. That's pretty neat. Right here, you know, starting Venom. Wow, not many packs left. Almost down to our last pack. Right. And yep, our last pack for this opening right here. Let's see if we can pull an ultra rare or a at least another hollow you know that would be really nice okay I'm gonna go slowly for this one I believe this card should be a hollow if it is so it's a spell card let's see if it's uh, anything that's shiny it doesn't look that shiny unfortunately so it turns out to be junk puppet with dark sanctuary as our rare ending off so Quick review of all the cards we've got so far. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 hollows in this set. Uh, you guys comment down below if you can actually get more hollows than that. Uh, but 12 hollows is pretty neat with uh, 5 ultra rare pools right here. 
So really neat. Really happy that we got Evil Hero Dust Gold. I uh, really hope that we got more of the um, uh, Evil Hero Bane and the other uh, Dark Necrofear <clears throat> uh, boss monster card. So really was really hoping that we could get one of those rather than trade, you know, one of these other than that. But overall, really, really happy. Really happy that we got this uh, Predator Plant uh, Fusion Hollow right here as well. Really cool. Looks like a really, it got, it's got a really neat effect as well. So, yeah. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this opening, and you know, be sure to hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to the Evolve channel for more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh content uh, openings, uh, TCG, OCG openings, as well as lots of speed through content over here. So, yeah. Once again, you know, just so you guys know, this is a regular. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh opening so it's not speed duel related but I try to incorporate a little bit of speed duel discussion in here so uh, Comment down below what you guys think as well if you guys like that type of discussion here that I'm talking about all these things and Really hopefully that we see some of these cards uh, down the road in the future and what you guys think you guys think about speed duels as its, as its own format how successful can it be uh, does it have potential you know what can it become eventually and if you guys play it as well, and uh, if you guys don't play speed duels, I highly recommend to give it a try. It's also a really good casual fun format to play, uh, just to take a break from regular Yu-Gi-Oh as well. Uh, also comment on what cards again in this set is really, really good. Let me know down below. So yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day, great night, wherever you are. And this is Vault, signing out.